How much does a polar bear weigh? How much? Enough to break the ice. Welcome, I'm Dallas. <laughs> Should I start off with that one? Yes. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Knife Banner. Today, I've got Dallas here with us. Dallas, what's up? Just happy to be hanging here with you, Kurt, talking uh, about knives. I appreciate that. So what are we going to be talking about? Uh, today, we're going to talk about some budget knives. Uh, some, I mean, you and I have talked about a little bit. Some of these you know, I've picked out. Um, yeah, pretty much just budget knives under $100-ish, because <laughs> I like the it. one. I like it. Okay, so tell the people what you do here at Blade HQ? I am the workshop team lead. We do, well, workshoppy stuff. You know, we fix things and uh, play around with things. I got a little surprise. Tuning to and yeah. laser and we you do guys laser have- engraving, Jim. You yeah. guys have all that kind of stuff. The team is just an amazing team. We have a lot of fun over there. Everybody loves Dallas. <laughs> the shop guys are super cool. Um, we're talking budget knives. So knives under a hundred bucks-ish. Ish. Some knives that Dallas picked out, and we're gonna go over a handful of these. So I'm gonna jump into it. This is the Civivi Pintail. Now I don't have my uh, my bandage on. I see. You that. guys are gonna have to just deal with monster thumb for a little bit. <laughs> it's it's gross, guys. It's a thing. So we got the Civivi Pintail. Now this is a cool <laughs> knife, guys. It's got my carta handle. Scales here, it's got the reversible pocket clip. It is a liner lock. It does have S35VN steel and a drop point. It's also got a hollow grind, which is pretty cool. This knife is actually pretty slicey. It's nice and thin. When it comes to EDC, Kurt, that is, I mean, full disclosure, that's one of my favorites. The that pintail. Is, it's the pintail. The pintail and the surprise at the end. I like I'll show you guys later. I'll show you at the end. Um, <laughs> it's the S35. I mean, come on, man, for that for that price. Right. And these things run on bearings. $83.30 is the price on this guy. You know, I've got short, fat fingers. I mean, it's like sausage fingers. And the handle isn't the this, you know, the handle, the overall ergonomics of that knife just fit. I mean, my pinky hangs out a little tiny bit. But, I mean, it just fits right on. You got a little thumb ramp, it fits. When it comes to EDC and it's got a little belly on it, other things with a belly, you know, I can slice, dice, whatever. Right. I use my knives as tools. I cut food, I cut everything. My wife gets a little frustrated when I pull out the old pocket knife at the steakhouse. She's like, come on, and I just, and she just rolls her eyes and goes with it. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> This is fun because Dallas has currently owns a handful of these knives on the table. So, mm -hmm. and I, I have big hands guys, but not all hands are the same. Dallas's are spirit fingers. Dude, why not? You know, <laughs> spirit fingers. I like the spirit fingers. <laughs> okay guys, Civivi Pintail, $83 on the website. It also comes in some different color variations. This one right here is in the green micarta. Super cool knife. It is a deep carry pocket clip, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. And the action, blade centering. Finger flipper and thumb things. stud both. I like that feature. A lot of what I own, a lot of my flippers have thumb studs. Yeah. So, you know, what I'll show you at the end only has a flipper. So there's a lot of times I'll get over there and be like, <laughs> I feel stupid. And then I have to use the finger <laughs> flipper, you know? But this in here, you can flick it either way, you know? I love it. I Heck just yeah. I just love it. It's Civivi. I mean, that we Civivi quality just trickles on down to their more uh, budget-friendly knives. Yep. I love it. Cool, guys. That's the Pintail for $83 on the website. What do you have? <laughs> I have Boker Kalashnikov. This is an automatic knife. It's got a blade length of three and a quarter inches. The blade material, this one here is in D2. Most, all of the Kalashnikovs are going to that. They're currently doing a sale on the Oz 8 right now. Um, so the D2 is coming in. This happens to be one that we've had for a minute. Uh, this one here's got the dagger uh, blade, flat grind, aluminum handle here, uh, deep pocket carry clip. And we can see that and it's got that uh, 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 
stone wash or the black wash. Uh, I believe it's called black wash blade. It looks amazing. I really do like these knives. I appreciate the bokers. Um, you know, they always fire. They're always snappy for the most part. The XXL is a little slow when you, yeah. when you fire that big old beefy thing. But That's a know, lot of blade. That's a lot of D2. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, that thing is fun. I won't lie. It's like, you know, people are like, oh, do you have a knife? You're like, Rrr, and you pull out the XXL. It's really cool. Yeah. But this one here, I mean, this is just a regular. But, man, this thing is slicey dicey. It's a D2, so you know it's going to hold up. And it's going to hold an edge. Um, I do appreciate my, uh, my Klashnikov. Um, this one here is $54.95 on the website. Um, again, they are doing sales on the Oz 8 that's moving out. Right. Uh, so whatever's left on there. So yeah. that's cool. I love it. Dude, Kalashnikovs are a no brainer and especially on a budget. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of knife for the price. All right, guys, I've got one more over here. It is the Kaiser Vanguard Copper Beg Lighter. The Beg Lighter is a solid design. I mean, we've had this design on the shelves for a very long time. Um, it is cool that it comes with the copper scales. You get that patina. It definitely looks mm -hmm. good with the black and copper contrast. I love that. Right? Oh, it's, that thing is beautiful. What a beaut. It is a liner lock with the thumb stud. It does not have a deep carry pocket clip, but the pocket clip kind of follows the, uh, the shape here of the lanyard hole, which is kind of cool. I prefer, especially with copper, your knife ends up being heavy, mm -hmm. right? It, it definitely it adds weight. And so to have a pocket clip, this one's actually really sturdy, stiff. It's not moving. But you have to have a pocket clip that can compensate for the weight. You know I what think. I mean? Otherwise, it just kind of wiggles around or it pops out of your pocket or it breaks. Right. I've had that a few times on a couple of knives where you, know, you get in your car. I, I don't know about I don't know about you out there at home, but when you get in your car and it snags on the steering wheel. Oh, Dude. Steering wheel or yeah. the belt or the the, the the seat belt. You got to take off the seat belt and, you're like, whoosh, and your knife goes flying across the car. <laughs> All right, guys, the beg lighter. Let's go over some specs. It's a three and a half inch blade. It is the CTS BD1N steel. Uh, this is in a drop point configuration with a flat grind. Now, the nice flat grind gives it that really slicey edge. Definitely you could slice open some apples with this. Oh, yeah, that's that's the kind of knife. You know, it's classy. Right. You know, you're sitting out on your front lawn, front porch, cutting an apple, eating a slice of apple. Right. You know, yelling at the kids to get off your lawn. Or It's a cool knife, man. It's I try to normally stick around three inches, but the three and a half with this slender handle, dude, you can get a really good purchase on it. It's a pretty cool mm -hmm. knife. That was a, I got one of those for a gift for a doctor friend. Okay. Um, you know, he's in the, he's in the, you know, business and stuff. Two words, entrepreneur. And you know, right. this was classy. He says people come in all the time. Cause he'll, you know, yeah. what does a doctor have? You know, I mean, he's not doing surgery with it. Right. I hope. I hope not. <laughs> hope he's watching. Don't right. do surgery with this or do whatever. Um, but no, I mean, when he's got to open a box or a package or mail or whatever he's using it for, you know, he pulls it out in the office. $60 on the website, Dallas. What do you got? All right. This, this, my friends, okay. Before you roast me in the comments, or do, whatever, I'm pretty resilient. I love you anyway. This happens to be one of my favorite, weird favorite knives of all time. This, my friends, the Spyderco bug, if I can get my fat fingers in there to open it. <laughs> <coughs> Here she is. This is the Spyderco bug. The blade length, are you ready? 1.3 inches. <laughs> it's uh, uh, the 30CR13 MOV still. Uh, obviously a little drop point, flat grind. I mean, I don't know how many other grinds you could do on this. <laughs> do a big old hollow grind. Um, and the handle material is stainless steel. So, fun story about this little teeny bugger here. <laughs> Get it, bug. Ah. Dad jokes. Um, <laughs> Grandpa jokes now. Dude, They're if horrible. you guys love Dallas and the jokes, hit us up in the comments. We're trying to get a little more humor on here and <laughs> Dallas really brings it. So, yes. Life's too, life is too short to be serious, Kurt. So this little knife, story time. The little bug, I bought it for my daughter. 
Right. And she's, I call her my zookeeper. She has like 985 animals. I give her this knife and I'm like, Megan, be careful. You're going to cut yourself with this. And she, she's all blah, 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 blah. Cause she talks really fast. She's like, blah, 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 blah. and she pulls that thing out and slices her finger. She's like, Wah! and I was like, I told you it was sharp. Yeah, it was funny. Your neck. I laugh my head off. <laughs> she uses it still in her little office setting that she works in. She uses it. She cuts tape on boxes and little. But she's got skinny little fingers, so she yeah. can hold. So on she's to got it. full purchase. She she gets full purchase. <laughs> I get one finger purchase. <laughs> she carries it around with her all the time. This bad boy is fifteen forty online on the website. I love it. I have got the buck one ten in the ebony wood you got your brass bolsters you got your ebony wood here with the pins it is a locked back beautiful beautiful knife this is classic if you or your grandpa or whatever <laughs> hasn't had a buck 110 shame on you not really but it is a classic design it's been around forever yes forever, forever. You're killing me, Smalls. Killing me. <laughs> it's got a clip point blade. It's 420 steel. This comes in at three and three quarter inch blade length. Uh, it is a hollow grind here. I'm probably getting fingerprints all over that or thumb. That blade, oh, that blade picks up major fingerprints. Oh, big time. I look at it and it's like, ah, oh, my fingerprints on it. I didn't even touch it. Right. It's a buck knife. <laughs> Made in the USA, man. Uh, my grandpa, my dad had a, a smaller version of that. Right. And he, when he passed away, I still have it at home. I don't open it. I just boil it down and put it back away because I love my dad. And uh, this thing here, God, and I mean, if you're a knife, if you're a knife guy, the the buck. You can't go wrong with it's it. It's classic. It really is. It's probably one of the most iconic folding knives in the history yeah. of folding knives. Buck 110 Ebony, you guys can get this one for $60 on the website. All right, the next one. If you live in California or somewhere else where you need the, the and you want an auto, but you have to have two inches or less, this <laughs> is the knife. So this here is the- It's so uh, stubby. Well, that's its name. It's called the Boker Stubby Strike. Um, so it, stubby. <laughs> it's got a safety here. You can turn it on. Um, you hit the button and it fires. Man, this thing is so snappy. Uh, to compare it to a Launch 4, the Sprint. And this, oh, yeah, is, yeah. this is just as snappy. Um, I know the other ones, you know, they're Kershaws and they're very well loved and, and the right. um, Sprint. But uh, anyway, this one here, it's 1.9 inches D2 steel. Which is awesome. Yes, it is. And it's all a part of, these, of the upgrade, right? Yeah, all these are coming onto the upgrade. This one here is currently, I believe, for sale on the website. I know some of them that have been coming in kind of slow. We've, uh, they're, they're trying to open it up. I don't know right. when they'll get all that worked out. Right, we're, we're trying to yeah. transition out the, uh, the, the Oz8 and move in with the D2 on the Boker Yeah, a little upgrade on the steel and whatnot. Anyway, this one here's drop point, flat grind, aluminum handles. It has liners in here. This thing is built like a tank. And, and not only just the stubby strike, but the full size strike, the mini right. strike. There's some of my favorite budget knives because these things, I mean, this thing here is uh, $44.95 on the website. And it's you, you know you put a little chain through there, hanging off your rearview mirror, have your car knife. You know I don't know if, right. I don't know if y'all have like car knives or shower knives or shower machetes. Shower knives. You never know when the zombies are gonna attack, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the handle is roughly don't don't quote me, but it's roughly the same size as the full size strike. All they did was just hack off the butt. Okay. They put on a little tiny blade and hacked off the butt. This blade will fit in the full size handle. Really? Don't ask me how I know that. I just know I have one. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll tell you, man, it's just like you say, you've got, I mean, you you can get some great purchase. My pinky still hangs out. However, right. it's big enough and bulky enough. And it's got some contouring here on the scales here where you can, uh, you know, if your hands are sweaty, wet or, you know, whatever you're doing, right. you have plenty of purchase on it. And you can just get your little thumb going in there and you can carve whatever you need to carve. Okay. I have got my second to last one. It is... Now this one is iffy, guys, because it comes in right at $105. But we were talking about it and we're like, you know what? If budget under $100, you get a lot with this knife mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's $5 extra. So it's not under $100, it's $5 more. Just don't go to Taco Bell for a day. 
<laughs> this is the Pair 3 Lightweight with the compression lock. This thing is a beaut. It's got the CTS BD 1N steel and the three inch blade made in Golden, Colorado, USA Earth, which I absolutely love I that love they, they put, put the earth. earth. Yeah, that's so <laughs> funny to me. Uh, it's got the wire pocket clip. It's the lightweight version, so it's got the FRN scales with the uh, cool milling pattern. It act you actually have a lot to grip onto. This pattern, these little nubbies, they're ramped. So like your fingers grip that way and your hand will grip back down here. So kind of cool. You get that big thumb ramp on the Spyderco and you can choke up on the choil here. It is a clip point blade. It's a flat grind and made in the US of A. If you're concerned about weight when you, you know, backpacking or hunting or you know, whatever you're doing, it's a great choice. Spyderco Pair 3, $105 on the website. I just screwed that up I twice. Cursed it. I you cursed did. It. There we go. I got I got it that time. Uh super fun knife. It is right over the hundred dollar budget mark, but what a great knife. Mm -hmm. What a great knife. I have one more knife. You guys know what this beauty is. <laughs> this is probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to budget knives. $30 and you can own a piece of the sea <laughs> made by Boker. This is the mermaid. Guys, this thing is just a beaut. It's a fun grill piece. Hand this down to the grandkids and they're gonna say, grandpa has been sipping a little of that cough medicine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or something. But it is a fun knife and it is a great conversation starter. And it cuts. It's like the dessert warrior. You pull that out at a party, everybody's gonna wanna oh, yeah. see it. Oh yeah, $30 on the website. <clears throat> What's in your pocket? Another heart touching story. You ready? Uh -huh. Dude, do I need to go and get like some uh, tissues? We're gonna do some little, little, do some tear jerking. Some music violin. Yeah. I love the violin, by the way. <laughs> so in my pocket is my very special Elementum. Civivi Elementum. This is probably one of my favorite knives. Our buddy David did this for me. He did, he fixed the anodized because I kind of screwed that up and then he did this cute, awesome, uh, engraving. It's not cute. It's a stormtrooper. It's awesome. Oh, dude, Gnarly. it's rad for sure. Dude, it's, it's totally rad. This is the uh, Civivi Elementum with the S35. I don't have the spec sheet right here, but it's about three inches. The blade's about three inches. This one has flitanium, titanium scales that are were released today. Today, as of the day we are filming this, they'll be on the site or they'll be sold <laughs> or check the website. Yeah, so these go on your Elementum. These are titanium. Um, Anyway, <clears throat> the Civivi Elementum on our website's right around 85-ish dollars, give or take. Right. So almost exactly a year ago, I retired from the Department of Corrections. Um, one of my really, really good friends, Coatsy, you know who you are. He, uh, I like he, that. He got me a gift card. And he's like, he's like, I wanted to buy you something, but I, you know, I wanted you to kind of right. pick it out yourself. Get, get something that <clears throat> you want. And he and I were talking about knives. He's a knife guy, big time knife guy. Um, uh, so anyway, I came on, I, I bought this knife um, in kind of, you know, it was my retirement gift from him. Right. And I bought this knife for that reason. And for me, it kind of signified this end of an era for me. I was able to retire after over 20 years of time service. In prison, service in the prison. Service in the prison. That sounds horrible. <clears throat> um, you know, and, and I also kind of want to do a little little uh, uh, thing for my Navy service as well. I was in the Navy Reserves. At the same time, I worked at the prison. Um, yeah, so to all my veteran family out there, brothers and sisters, thank you for your service. I never made it in country. If you did, my heart goes out. I got a lot of friends. A couple didn't make it home. And, you know, so this this knife kind of rolls up my, my public service career, if you will, whether it be... Um, as a corrections officer or in the Navy, uh, just kind of rolls it all up into into one. And this this really means something to me. And and Coatsy didn't know what he was doing when he got it for me. Right. Coates didn't. He just, but he's a he's a he's going to appreciate this when he sees this. I really hope he sees this. Anyway, um, that's what I had in my pocket. That's it. My bug outs in the workshop 
our brother David's uh, doing some fun stuff. He's doing some other stuff to it. I'm excited. Hopefully you are <laughs> going to be able to show that to the people. He's got a really cool custom bug out. Yes. And he's constantly anodizing and doing <laughs> different designs and cool stuff. It's really awesome. I'm very excited. Dallas, thanks for being on the show, man. Thanks, man. We're going to have you again. I hope. I I enjoyed it. Hopefully, you know, you folks at home enjoyed it. I, I really do love knives. And, you know, I love people. I love hearing people's stories. I, just what makes them tick, where they come from, right. their life. You know, it kind of helps you understand them a little bit. Well, okay, so what if we do this? What if you guys down in the comments jump down in there Share with us some of your knife stories and maybe we'll do an episode of Knife Banter about knife stories. I know we've done something similar in the past, but why not? That'd story cool. time. Maybe do a little shout out if they want. A little you know, shout is, out and some stories. This is, you know, Bob Dylan and this is his story or, you know, about a knife or whoever. Not Bob Dylan particularly, but. Right. You know, that's, maybe that'd be kind of cool. It'd be cool. Jump down in the comments. Leave us your story, and we'll try to get those stories up in another knife banter. That's all we have for you guys. Perfect. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out the knives in the description. They will link you straight over to the website. Also, check out the playlist over here, and we'll see you on the next one.